Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I was not able to get a video for this weekend, my usual kind of like bonus video where I'll do like a review or something like that. Uh, I've been really sick this week and also I am cramming reading Cradle for a podcast this weekend that you guys will probably see in a couple weeks or something like that. That'll be a really, really, really fun episode. Uh, we have a special guest for that one as well. But yeah, so I just wanted to kind of turn on the camera for a few minutes and just talk to you guys and, and hang out for a minute. Uh, right now it's Friday night. I got my wine and uh, I'm just hanging out and about to uh, go back to reading Cradle after this. So probably only be on here for a, a few minutes, but um, again, I just wanted to kick back with you guys. I got some book mail <laughs> and here's the thing. I feel like a complete tool because I had, you know, opened up my camera on my laptop and I thought that I hit record and I'm just talking to the camera, just going on and I'm like opening up the, the package and everything. And then I looked back at the app on my laptop and realized that I was not recording. So I sincerely considered like, do I put it back in the packaging and just reopen it for the video or what do I do? But I feel like that would be kind of disingenuous and too much work. No, this is a quick video. Uh, the sad part is, is that it came in like this really nice wrapping um, and I'll, I'll show you what it is, but uh, yeah, that was kind of sad. So that would have been, I, I thought it was kind of fun opening it on camera, but now it's here in the open. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, anyway, I, I just wanted to kind of make a video where I'm just hanging out and there's not a lot of like editing that I have to do later. And I'm just kind of talking to the camera and catching up with you guys. Uh, if you guys like this kind of video where it's just me hanging out and talking, you know, no, no big production, no green screen behind me just kind of hanging out and chatting about whatever I read this week or whatever uh, definitely let me know because I'll do more of these if you guys like them and um, maybe do some live streams in the future maybe that's what these can turn into uh, but the book mail I got is from Thomas Howard Riley and he sent me a new edition of We Break Immortals. No, it's not. It's not this. That would be too small. Um, but that's the map. This is part of the map. If I remember correctly, this is the like zoomed in uh, part of the map. My mic is in the way, but yeah. So those came with it. Um, it came in. So this is what I was talking about. It came in like this really nice wrapping, like this really silky. Um, I'm not even sure what you would call this, but it's just like this silk wrap that was all like tied around it. Uh, and Thomas, you use too many knots. I had to untie like seven knots. I'm like, okay, at what point, at what point do I just break out the scissors? You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> uh, but no, he sent me um, the hardcover of We Break Immortals. And this is a new version um, and basically from what i understand he got a new editor and went through his books and re-edited them uh to get all the spelling errors and and stuff out of there and that was something that i had mentioned in my review was that the old edition it had all these spelling errors and it seemed like it seemed like maybe they were almost done by like autocorrect or something because it was words like like instead of something being not, it would instead be now. And it just seems like something, you know, the computer would just mess up doing from, from time to time. And um, it wasn't a, a big deal at all. Um, I, I mentioned it in my review, but at the same time, it was like you, you still know exactly what the sentence was trying to say. So, uh, but I do appreciate the effort of, you know, seeing that that was an issue however small and be like you know what i'm gonna go back through this i'm gonna make a new edition that clears all that up 
uh, get some fresh eyes on it with a new editor and, um, you know, put out, put out this new version. And I, I think that really says a lot about how, you know, dedicated he is to this series and his, his books in general, his writing. So yeah, it doesn't, you know, I have the, uh, I have my arc edition here. Um, sorry, I'm not, there we go. So this is the arc, my, my paperback arc. And then this is the, let's see, there we go. This is the, uh, hard cover up here. And you can tell a difference between the two covers. The arc is a lot darker. I don't know if you can see it on camera, uh, but the arc is a lot darker. I never really noticed that before. That's so interesting. The, the new hard cover, um, it has such a clearer image on the cover. I think it looks really, really nice. God, I love this cover so much. Um, if you haven't read We Break Immortals, you absolutely should. It's, uh, it's a big boy. It's really thick. Uh, took me a long time to get through. I think that uh, most people will probably read it probably as quickly as you would read like a John Gwynn book or something like that or maybe like a one of the bigger Wheel of Time books. Um, for me, I don't read physically a lot um, and this is only available in physical. So it took me, uh, took me a few months to get through it. Um, but anyways, yeah, I know, I know it's a big book, but it's got a really fantastic story. I'll link my review for it up there, whatever side of the screen that it's on. And uh, yeah, it's got a great story, great characters amazing magic system very much like a sanderson magic system uh, but if you feel like you can't commit to a big book like this he just put out a prequel novella that doesn't have the same characters but it's in the same world and you will get a very clear idea of his kind of writing style and see if it's something that you like and um, see if you like, you know, kind of his world building and his characters. And he does explain the magic system, which helps going into We Break Immortals because it kind of takes a while to learn uh, the fundamentals of the magic system uh, in the bigger book. Thomas, thank you for sending me that. That's also I think it's also signed. Is it signed? I asked him to sign it. Let's see. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you so much for your support. You shall have no trouble stopping any doors with this. I hope you keep reading Spencer Thomas Howard Riley. Ooh, I almost knocked my wine over. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so very cool. I'm very, very happy to have gotten that in the mail. I saw that uh, on my doorstep and I was like, oh, I bet that's the... Uh, I bet that's the the big boy so thank you thomas for sending that my way i'm gonna put that up on my booktube uh kind of community shelf or not booktube book twitter community shelf i have one up there with uh we men of ash and shadow and bonds of chaos by zach argyle i have the hand of the sun king eh, why don't i just bring him down i'll show you guys why not why not? Yeah. There we go. We Men of Ash and Shadow, uh, which I actually got for my birthday this year because I didn't have the physical addic uh, ad edition of it. Um, so I got that. And then Bonds of Chaos. And I think this one is signed as well. I should do a video with all my signed, signed books. Do you guys know that I have a signed Wise Man's Fear? Um, I found it at a used bookstore <laughs> and it's got somebody else's name in it. It's personalized to like John or Joel or something. I don't know. Uh, and so, but it is his signature. I, I, I looked into it. It really is Patrick Rothfuss's signature. And so it's just kind of funny because like maybe it's worth money, but it's just got somebody else's name in it. Uh, but yeah, Zach signed, whoop, Zach signed that one. And then Hand of the Sun King, I did get this signed by uh, JT Greathouse. It's personalized. I saw him at an event um, out in the 
in the city. And he was doing a, a live reading and like a QA. and a um, And so I went out there and kind of hung out and talked to him a bit and got him to sign the book. Um, God, I told him a long time ago too that we'd get him on the podcast and it just hasn't happened yet. I feel so bad about it, but what can you do? So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the uh, that's the book mail. That was kind of the bulk of the video. Um, I guess we could talk. I don't want to go on too much longer, but I guess we could talk about Cradle because that's mostly what I've been reading this week. Um, I read a little bit of Galaxy's Edge, uh, and that was good. I'm liking that. Um, but Cradle, let's talk about it. So, I'm on Uncrowned, and I like it so far. I do. Um, but there's also some things that just aren't quite clicking with me. Like, it'll never be in, like, my top, probably not even, like, my top 20 favorite series. It, there is, the, the thing that is keeping me hooked is it shows you just enough of what the end game could be and kind of like what like the large scale conflict is um and i i'm really into that and so i really want to see where it goes and how big and how epic it gets um but all the small scale stuff is just driving me nuts i think that linden is probably one of the worst protagonists ever um and, and it's funny because I, I i sound like i'm contradicting myself i do like the series i am enjoying it um i i really am but i i think that linden is just one of the worst protagonists i've ever read um because he's only focused on one thing he's just focused on the advancement and i'm not going to get into spoilers or anything but he's just focused on advancing and kind of leveling up in this magic system they have in the series and uh you know he does have friends but they're all like work friends you know like if like if you have a bunch of friends and the only thing you guys do is play soccer and every time you hang out you talk about soccer every time you hang out you try to like practice soccer and get better and better and better uh but you guys never go and see a movie together you never hang out and uh you know just talk on the phone about life or you know whatever are they really your friends do they really like i mean yeah i mean they're they're your friends but are they close friends i i wouldn't say so um and so the only relationships he has in the series are revolved around this kind of magic system and and leveling up and that's like the most important thing to him um and even in the book that i'm on right now one of the characters asks linden uh you know do you have any hobbies what do you like to do and he's like well i i like to do magic and she's like okay but like what else do you like to do he's like magic i just like to get better at it and it's just like god what a just boring character oh my god he's so boring but it is like the side characters that are entertaining and linden is almost like almost like basic protagonist placeholder character i, I don't know i'm just like i just don't understand the idea behind this character and i wish that i did because a lot of people like him a lot of people like this series and again i like the series i'm enjoying it but god how do you guys like linden like he is just the worst oh my god um so yeah that's kind of how i'm feeling about cradle right now uh and yeah I'm, I'm in book seven and i i think i'm just about wrapped up with it and i gotta finish book eight for the podcast in two days so um i'm gonna be cramming that tonight as i play some fallout or something um and speaking of video games we could talk about some video games i've been playing uh gabe and i have been playing borderlands 3 and i had never played that game before and so i think it's 
it's really fun i'm enjoying it a lot he is hounding me every day of the freaking week to get on borderlands uh because we agreed we wouldn't play without each other because the story like if one person plays without the other person their story goes further and it's hard to you know play together so he's hounding me all the time to play borderlands i i love the game i'm enjoying it but i'm like i just don't have that much time dude so that's been fun what else have i been playing oh mafia uh mafia one the definitive edition they took mafia one and two and they gave it a complete remaster it might even mafia one might even be a remake i'm not sure like it's from the ground up it looks beautiful and mafia one came out on the original xbox and that's why i never played it because by the time i got into the mafia games when i started playing mafia 2 it mafia one was already way aged out like it does, the original game does not look good and so playing it this time around i'm like oh my gosh this is gorgeous i love the story i love everything about it it's so good and yeah i'm just enjoying it a lot i'm having a great time with uh with mafia one but it is a game where like you can't really have a whole lot else going on like fallout i can throw that on i don't really need to listen to the side quests and the dialogue and stuff even though like i should but like you can easily play that game without having to worry too much about the dialogue but mafia it's such a it's like watching a movie like you have to pay attention to the story otherwise you're not gonna know what the hell's going on so that that's a game where you know as i've been sick this week and just not feeling like doing anything else um just kind of playing some mafia and hanging out and whatnot so that's been great and oh there's hank there's hank back there hank oh. who's a good boy who's a good boy <laughs> But yes, that's that's kind of what I've been doing this week. Cradle, uh, Borderlands, and Mafia. I'm not watching a whole lot of shows right now. I need to catch up on Yellow Jackets tomorrow. God, how am I going to do that? Uh, there's so much to do for this podcast. Sometimes it's wild. But yeah, I guess I should end it there because, God, I'm going on. I've been filming for about 18 minutes. Hopefully I'll edit this down to like 15 or maybe 10 um but yeah i hope you guys have a great weekend thomas thank you for the book mail i love my new edition of we break immortals it's one of my favorite books ever so uh please go check that out the the prequel novella is the monsters we feed uh both reviews will be in the annotations at some point maybe i'll link them in the, the yeah maybe i'll link them in the description um so yeah have a great weekend, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And our Twitter and Discord will be linked down in the description. And I think that's it. All right. We'll see you in the next video on the next uh, podcast episode. Bye.